guys welcome back to a new video of the west sorry about that the west from career mode we are on episode five i believe if i'm not wrong by the way before we get into this video sorry again uh, i would like to say i um throughout the video i do have hiccups so apologies if i take occasional pauses and stuff like that but anyway i would like to apologize um for the lack of uploads i know it's been couple days now gonna check actually uh, how long it's been right now it has been a couple days um, it's been three days at the time of recording sorry about that obviously I'm trying my hardest but it's kind of hard to record edit and you know get on with actual real life as well because like I have school um, and that's pretty time consuming you know it is pretty hard to find regular uploads um, and try to keep this series co consistent but anyway enough of that let's get into it obviously you guys know in the last episode badly needed a striker Scarlet's not bad but I felt like we need we need someone else because like two strikers it's not enough so if, if Scarlet went out to get injured we'd have no choice but to put Dian Garner up front and play with Nelson down the right wouldn't we which isn't really his natural position. So we went out, spent pretty much all of our money, and got Solomon Rondon. We didn't have much. I, I initially wanted to get someone that Dwight get, but we've signed the former baggy, Solomon Rondon from Ever Everton. As good signing and and um, 74 ra rated, not bad. And an overall decent player. Are you gonna see a lot? simulate games you are going to progress quite a bit <coughs> sorry about that again got hiccups um, you are going to see a lot of sim simulate games because I'm trying to get through the series as fast as possible obviously now we lost 2-1 in the FA, FA Cup not too fussed entirely um, went on to win against Southampton obviously our form ha hasn't been the greatest. One Southampton um, accepted a loan offer from Sheffield Wednesday. It came in with a bit of optimism against Tottenham. Lost all that optimism as we got absolutely hammered 4-1. Back down to reality. An interesting offer for Gavi. Uh, one interesting offer for Daro Shea. And a really interesting offer I found from um, Ren Stad Ren, I believe. For Andrade, who, by the way, the fact we managed to find him as a free agent is just bizarre. Simulated Aston Villa game, lost 1-0, to be, on to be honest. More focused on getting through the series as quick as possible. Uh, sorry, again, I know we lost in, in the derby last episode and losing again. It does hurt, but we will be back next year and we will be better than ever obviously in real life West Brom drawing one one with um, Middlesbrough <coughs> we beat Hull sorry about that again I do apologise for the hiccups um, one one with Middlesbrough I don't know what it is man um, got lucky because if Dean Garner hadn't saved us with an absolute thunderbolt off the post and then we'd be screwed I tell you that right now we would be pretty screwed um, Fulham and Bournemouth just just looks so strong and our form hasn't really been that good and I'm starting to think sorry about that I'm starting to think we're more leaning towards third this year I think it's going to be hard to keep up with Fulham and Bournemouth I feel like their sh sides are slightly stronger considering I feel like we need midfield reinforcement I, I don't know because we lost Pereira, that's obviously a huge loss to our midfield. I know Livermore's our captain, but sometimes you've just got... Oh, wish we had a different midfielder in there. Mawat's out with an injury, and Snodgrass and Li Livermore as a midfield duo. We are just... We're needing midfield reinforcement in January, I think. No disrespect to Snodgrass, I love the guy. He's a really nice lad, but... No, I feel like we need... We need someone else in that middle of the park. Same with Bajet Livermore now. 
This game, one of those games where everything wasn't going your way, really. Um, Chelsea were absolutely dominant. Like we only got this chance here with Diangana, which could have changed the game. Um, but yeah, look at the stats. I mean, we had more possession, same shots, similar XG, but I just felt like Chelsea had so much more of the momentum. If it weren't for Johnston here and the look, the post, we would have gone even further behind. Um, but again, Chelsea just showing their class. I mean, you saw the second goal. Chelsea are really good, not just in game, but in real life. And the, they find their 3 0 lead and end up winning the game. Crazy thing is, we had more possession and the same amount of shots. I think just defense, defensively, we need to improve. Jumped into the Leicester game, lost, um, didn't lose, sorry, we drew 2-2, two -two. not bad, I'll take that, um, now Conference League, you, probably, you guys probably forgot we're in this competition, this is a really good route into the Europa League next year, and we won 3-0, a really good sign, this is obviously the round of 16, now we just had to hold it out after an impressive 3-0 th performance, which we would a 2-1 win, some really convincing stuff stuff here as through to the uh, to, to the court final to we face you you will see shortly um everton be locked to everton a bit disappointing not gonna lie dumped into the man city game probably had had no chance of winning and i say probably yeah we had no chance <laughs> um jumped into a fury and Tina game, which was our quarter final fixture, and we actually drew 2 2. What a thriller that was! Um, exciting stuff, as you guys saw. A brief moment actually, 18th worrying signs. Would we stay there for long? No, but sorry about that again. But definitely something to sort of be worried about. If if I were uh, if in our situation is what I meant to say. say but we're through to the semi-finals. Incredible! We pulled out a one-nil win. Khan Grant yet again saving us. Jumped into bottom of the table. Burnley in need of a win. We wouldn't get that. <coughs> We'd be forced to take a draw with uh, Dean Garner, who's been good in the second half of the year. Again, Nicole Gavi pulling out shock win for us against West Ham who as you guys can see are actually tied with Man United in the Champions League spots as uh, we sat 16th in the league e tension tensions only two points clip of that relegation zone but in the UECL with uh, Conference League we uh, face Fenerbahce but anyway guys see the episode if you enjoyed it please like subscribe and I'll catch you guys later take care